Welcome to Wigglesticks TV. Just a quick little update video on the 96 SRAD. I had a few issues when I rode it last time when it gets really hot. Um, so the fan and everything's kicking in, but the bike sort of feels like it wants to uh, conk out when it's uh, like between 100 and 110 degrees uh, centigrade, roughly when the fan comes on at like 107 or something like that. And then when I brought it back, um, it was just running really, really rough and sort of felt like there wasn't enough spark. Um, when it was hot. So a week, I think the fault probably would be a weak spark when hot. So what I've ended up doing uh, is rigging up a switch so I can manually turn the fan on um, to try and prevent it from actually getting hot. So we've just got a standard on off switch on the dash here. And then down here, I've just tapped into uh, the thermo sensor wiring and stuff at the back and essentially ran an earth off the engine uh, down here. And it's because essentially you're just bridging the earth between this plug. So essentially now when I turn the switch on, everything fires up and everything as normal. But uh, if I want to, I can turn the fan on uh, in traffic, which I think is probably going to be a help to me while I try and actually figure out um, if there's a problem with the ignition coils or something else. So. Yeah, with any luck, uh, we'll be able to sort that relatively shortly and I'll take it for test run and see how it goes. And then uh, at least that way I know that um, I can turn the fan on if I need to. So I'll just whip the fairing back on, go for a spin. And then uh, in the new year, probably look at doing some more tests and stuff on the ignition coils, uh, just so we can get it running uh, properly and everything like that. So yeah, pretty simple fix. Um, I had all uh, this all back together, cool it and everything in there, and then I remembered that uh, the other day I got a replacement um, coolant temperature uh, switch on the back of the radiator. So this is the uh, part number that I'm using. Uh, it's off a Suzuki ATV or something like that. Um, the good thing about it is that it yeah, threads straight into the standard radiator and then also uses the standard plug. So with any luck, um, that will be another safeguard to um, turn the radiator on, uh, the fan on much quicker than it previously, ha previously has been going on. And then the other thing I remembered I actually have floating around here is a temp, uh, a new temp sender. Uh, sensor from under the tank so i'm just going to pop the tank up and change that sensor as well and then i will uh, take it for a spin so we've got fan switch a manual fan switch a new uh, different part number which is a lower temperature before it uh, turns on and then i'll replace the sender as well and see how we go after coming back for that last ride, uh, I'm definitely happy to report that the changes I made seem to have uh, settled the temperature and everything down. That new um, fan switch in the back of the radiator made a huge difference. Fan cu cuts on at 95 degrees, uh, clicks on at 95 degrees, and then just stays and maintains there, and the temperature doesn't get above 100 um, ever, which is great. So it's much more stable to ride. I still think there's um, an issue either in the carb somewhere or like in the float bowls or potentially in the idle uh, adjustment screw or needle. Um, so I'm gonna take it back to a different mechanic and get them to look at it, um, go through it again and just reset the idle because I think it's running too rich at idle. At the lights, it's very, very fluffy, kind of wants to die um, and then sort of is fine once you're riding along. So good progress I think has been made. Very, I'd highly recommend that switch in all 96, 97 GSX-R750s uh, and then any of the 600s from that same uh, body shape that run the switch in the front of the radiator. Um, 
super easy mod to do. Uh, I think it costs about $80 Australian um, and is, it just transforms uh, the heat cycle and that kind of stuff on the bike. So um, thoroughly recommend that mod. Um, looking forward to now just getting ready for track day at Phillip Island uh, at the end of January. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.